question. Okay. Will you ask us? Ah, yes, I'm going to ask that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to ask that one. You know, I'm, I'm asking that one. You know, like so. The calories. The calories. I'm going to ask the calories also. Okay, guys. The calories. It's very important. You know, like one gram of carb is how many calories? Four. So if you eat one piece of bread and then one piece of bread is one carb portion, it has 15 grams. Then how many calories is it? 60. 60. 60. Everybody's having problems. You know, you have to you have to multiply because one gram is four calories. Am I making sense? Okay, one gram of carb is four calories. So you you add an apple. Apple is not gonna change, it's under three. It has like 15 gram. It's only gonna be having 15 gram of carb because it's not processed, it's from the tree, right? It doesn't, we don't, we can't add fat in it to make it have, uh, tastier, right? Okay, so one apple is always gonna be 60 calories. Is this clear? How did, how did, we, how did we know 60 calories? Because every gram of carb is four calories. Four times 15 is 60. Is this, in, is this clear? Yeah, so read the question, read the question, see like what I am asking. If I'm asking how much one gram of carb is, how many calories is one gram of carb, then what are you gonna be writing? Four. Four. If I'm gonna be saying uh, one apple has 15 grams and it's one fruit portion, one carb portion, one small apple, tennis ball size, that has 15 calories, it is one starch portion. How many calories is it? Don't write me four calories, it's not four calories. Because there's 15. 15 inside, does that make sense? One apple is not four calories, one apple is 60 calories because in one apple there is 15 grams of carb. Anyway, there is no food, there is one gram of sugar. One candy, one little candy that like, you know, you unwrap it and then you suck on it, it's five grams. Am I making sense? So if that little candy that you sucked on it, it has five grams, and every gram is four calories, five times four is 20 calories. Think from there. One little uh, sugar candy that it's wrapped, you, that we give to the gifts, uh, to the guests, right? So you unwrap it and you put it in your mouth to suck on it, that's 20 calories, why? Because that little candy has five grams of Five times four is 20. So the one little candy has 20 calories. Not the chocolate candy, sugar candy. Am I making sense, guys? So is, am, am I giving you perspective so that you can judge what I'm trying to say? So there is no food that is four calories. So that has to kind of alert you that like I'm asking something else, like uh, be careful. Did I make, did I make my point? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, and then so if one string cheese is one string cheese has how many cal uh, how many grams of protein? Seven. Why? Because one string cheese is one protein portion. Is that clear? So one string cheese is one protein portion, and it has seven grams of protein. Anything that has seven grams of protein, it becomes one protein portion. Is that clear? So the magic number for protein is what? Seven. 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 The magic number for carb is what? Fifteen. Fifteen, very good. The magic number for fat is what? Five. Five, <laughs> yes. Um, would you give us an ex like, or on a test, give us something where it was like string cheese has seven I'm grams gonna of protein, say do. but also two grams of fat? No, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. Though. So no, it's, no, it's only gonna be one okay. microorganism. I'm not gonna confuse. I'm not gonna complicate it. Okay, yeah, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna be casting like one microorganism at the time. So, okay. yes. So for next week's exam, we can get like fair game is from lecture or lab. Which one? Because we have an exam next week, right? 307 you're talking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. I mean, it's gonna be lecture or lab. Yes, yes. Lab. Yeah, nutrition is in the lab, but like it's a lab, I mean, it's an information, yeah, everything that I lecture, it is in the test. 
right. let's put it this way. So it doesn't matter what time did I lecture. Did I, if, if I lectured at 8.30 or 11, it doesn't matter. But it's gonna be this class and then our, our lab. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so <laughs> the lab <laughs> lecture, it's information that is needed in the, the in oh, this no, test. It's, lab is not different. It's not a different course. It's made it together. Is that clear, guys? Mm -hmm. So don't say that, oh, that lecture was during the lab. It was at 11 a.m. And then this lecture is at 8.30 8 a.m. Does that make sense? So everything is included. Yes. What about the students that don't have you for lab? Oh, it, it's do? the same as slides. But the thing is that our um, professor, she doesn't go through the slides. She didn't go in as detailed as you would have. No, it, it was student. like already kind of whatever I discussed. I mean, it's the from the slides, and then I only covered like two of the slides, the, the microorganisms, mi micronutrients, and then also the, it's from the slides. Like whatever I'm asking in the test, it's from the slides. But the thing is that she goes really fast and she doesn't explain it. She went really fast. We recorded it. Yeah, but um, no, we, we were not allowed to record it. No, we recorded hers. Oh, for nutrition? Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I just, and I I she found asked two lectures. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So. And then I found two nutrition previous lectures also. One needed the password. The other one that I found, uh, it, it didn't need a password. So there are two lectures that are recorded from the past. And Christy recorded it also. Am I making sense? Okay. But what yeah. about, like, for example, are you going to go more into detail about this during lab or you're not? Which one? Like skin. Okay, now. the skin, okay, now now we started the systems, right? Now we started the systems. Like in the systems, when we arrive, the physical exam part of the slides, that is gonna be covered in the during the lab. Mm -hmm. And then the lab teachers are gonna be covering it. Okay, what was the problem like? What, what, what part you didn't understand, tell me. No, I understand, it's just that our professor, she just goes really quick through the slides, that's the problem. So I don't, my thing is, my concern is that you put something on the exam that, you know, we didn't hear about. No, the, 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 the teachers are like trained to go over those slides. Okay. okay, so, I mean, we're doing this for 12 years, you know, like, I mean, so the, the teachers who are teaching the lab, they're trained to go over the slides. And then the slides are like for the sake of the demonstration. Now that we're going into the systems. Am I making sense? So like, you know, the slides that for the physical exam, we're gonna go to the sequence of inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. So that is what you're gonna be learning during the lab. And the slide is only a key. It's directing the teacher to follow that sequence. That's all it's doing. So the teacher is teaching you how to do physical exam, in other words. Does that make sense? Because that teacher is going to be testing you your skill, how you perform the physical exam. So that teacher has to know what she's teaching you, because otherwise how can she evaluate you and give you a grade at the end of the semester? Does that make sense? So I cannot, we cannot devalue the, the, the value of the clinical instructors. I mean, they're trained professionals that they have an assignment and that they're giving. Uh, uh, they're taking responsibility to teach. Okay, so yeah, they're very one. I mean, they're, they're, and they're not the first time teachers. I mean, they're teaching people for a while now. Oh. Is that clear? So I don't want you to have this like misconception that like whoever is in my group is going to be the luckier group. It's not because like the slide set is about the physical is assessment. So it covers. It covers, what does it cover? It covers how to do physical exam. Does that make sense? Those are slides, how to do physical exam. And then you have to practice those skills in the lab. So she has to go over this uh, slides. The slides are for the sake of, like okay, we, have, we need to cover this, and then I have to demonstrate, and then when you're doing the lab, she's gonna come and then test whether you're doing, not test, like in, inspect or like, see if you're doing the skills correctly because at the end of the semester you're going to be doing on each other and you're going to be receiving a grade am i making sense so in other words there is no way like me i'm going to be having like 44 students in one lab i mean you have you know this like you, you came from another uh, discipline if there is a lab lab have multiple sections i mean it's not only nursing and then different people 
teach the lab. But like the, they, they, they're not gonna be teaching less or more because the slides are, are their guide also. Am I making sense? So not every clinical instructor has their <laughs> own slide decks. And then there is like a gap between like, okay, what I taught in my class, it can be different in another lab teacher. So the lab teachers are exactly teaching the same slides. Am I making sense? And then how much they're gonna be talking less? I mean, it's, it's the slides they have to cover. I know, like, you know, the, the slides are the key, but like the other component is that from the slides, they're gonna be demonstrating. And then because of the demonstration, you're gonna be learning the skill. And then at the end of the semester, you're gonna be checked by them. So if, if I'm thinking that they're not gonna be going over the slides and then not, not teaching you the right way of doing demonstration, then we're losing time. At the end of the semester, how are you gonna be evaluated? Does that make sense? So I did everything to make it standardized. So I know like there is this like, okay, misconception. Okay, maybe like people who are in my group, they're gonna be more, more luckier. They're not luckier because I'm not gonna be teaching anything more than the slides. Am I making sense, guys? So what else I can do? You tell me. Say it again. Yes. Yeah, in the study that I'm saying what I'm going to be asking. Yeah, but there's no nutrition stuff in the study guide. There is. I added. On the bottom. Macronutrients, macronutrients. Yeah, I mean the study guide is another point of reference that what I'm going to be asking. I know every year. Uh, what was your name? Yeah. Eden. Every year. You're not alone. Every year there is like this. This okay, like. Uh, uh, people who are in Nakashian's group are luckier. I know, you're not in this one. Every cohort like has this concern, but then eventually when they take the test, okay, they come down that, okay, no, I'm correct. You know, because I, I, as a mother teacher, I cannot be unequitable. I mean, how mentally, like how I should have like consciously, it's not gonna be uh, peaceful for me. Am I making sense? Like, I mean, I, I'm teaching for how many years? You know, so like, I, it can't be. Like, then I have, I, I will feel very guilty. Very guilty, you know, but my role is the clinical instructors. I'm always teaching them and I'm mentoring them so that they can, they're, they're kind, the, the more they teach with me, the better they become and then they'll be teaching for a while. You know, so what else? I mean, if you have concerns, you have to talk, I mean, I mean, I'm here to answer. I mean, it's all valid. If it's something bothering you in your heart and it's missing your heart, you have to tell. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm here to tell you the other, the answer to it. Okay, yes. Um, what's the difference between study guide PDF and exam one study guide student work optional? Okay. The student work, ah, okay. So there's two study guides. Yeah, I know. The my, my the, uh, there was one student what she did, okay, so she got the study guide and she made a handout of the, out of it. She, I mean, that this girl was like very ambitious, you know? Uh, so she kind of, if I'm asking microorganisms, she did even her own research of writing about microorganisms. Does that make sense? So like, and then that's how she studied. And then I'm sharing it. You don't have to touch it. I wrote it optional. So optional is the one that she came up with. Yeah, it's a student work. Didn't I write the student work? Yeah. 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 So it's a student work and it's optional. Zane did like a student work. The, I, and, and then I'm sharing it with the medication exam. You don't want to go over it, it's your choice. Does that make sense? A student work is like addition, it's optional. If you don't need Zane's work to refer on for your medication exam, you don't have to show. You don't have to, 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 to learn. It's a student work is optional. I'm sharing it because some student did extra work. Maybe it is helpful to you. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. And then I already named it optional a student work. Correct. So if something is wrong in the student work, don't come and tell me the student work said this. <laughs> That's optional, I'm telling you. Am I making sense, guys? Mm -hmm. And then there is a physical exam. There is Christy. Did you see Christy's work? Christy, the, for the uh, final exam, for the final exam. Did you see on the final exam checklist? Yeah. That in the lab documents. Look under lab documents. 
the final exam. Uh, no, the, the, Kristen the, and Melissa's checklist. Yeah, okay. Kristen and Melissa's checklist, that's student work. Oh. That's student work. What they did, because like when you're doing the physical exam, you have to dictate, you have to narrate, right? They were having difficulty narrating. This to uh, Christy started, then um, uh, the other student fixed it, uh, some things. All right, so then Christy said, okay, that narration, I'm gonna type it. And she typed it and then it was helpful to her, then I'm sharing it. There is one part, one part, and then I see that it is something wrong, I have to change it. Now the students are coming, oh, Christie's work said this. Christie's work is, a student work is optional. Does that make sense? Some student came up with a strategy that was helpful to her, and I'm sharing it with others. Am I making sense, guys? Mm -hmm. So a student work is optional. She made okay. it. Yeah, is it, is, am I making myself clear? Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay, so is there anything bothering you more? A squeeze in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what else I can do? You tell me, you know, like a student word? This is a student word. Yeah, 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 student word. You said 50 questions? 57. Oh, yeah. Oh. And how, yeah. how long do we have? One hour and 10 minutes. Yeah. Yes. No, I'm okay. What happened? You're sad? No, I'm just tired. I look sad. I no, no, I no, 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 no. What else? <laughs> what, what other questions do you have? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, for the exam, are there repeated questions? Like, no. No. Only. Only. Wait, what? <laughs> There's no repeated questions from the quiz. So you won't, won't see them again. Okay. Like in Patho. Okay. That's why they don't go. All right. Okay, so um, that's that. And then, yeah, it, as, as far as nutrition, as I said, there are two, Christy has taped, and there are two previously lectures I found from the bank. I called the canvas, they, they took me to the bank, and then I found. So there are two recorded lectures. It's not new science I'm gonna be talking, it's the same science. Okay, so. Okay, and then I can talk about more about insulin, and then you will have to understand, but I'm not gonna ask the insulin. This one is not in this course. Is that clear? But I'm bringing the value of knowing about nutrition because you're gonna be using it in clinical practice. Is that clear, guys? Yeah, okay.